In this video, I'm going to cover the different worksheet views available, as well as options for arranging windows, which is handy when working with multiple workbooks at the same time. Plus, we'll look at splitting and freezing panes and zooming. On the View tab of the ribbon, there are various settings that allow you to customise how the worksheet looks. Most of the time you'll work in normal view. That's what you see here. If you print your worksheets, then you may find the page break preview or the page layout handy. You can also toggle between these views using the icons down in the status bar. So we've got page break view, page layout view, and normal. In the show group of icons, you can toggle on and off grid lines, the formula bar, and the headings, which are these column labels and row labels. Let's turn them back on so we get our familiar look and feel for Excel. The zoom icons here, if we click on zoom, we can choose from a magnification percentage. We can say fit to selection, or we can just type in a custom percentage. Let's say 85% and click OK. I can zoom back to 100% quickly by clicking on the 100% icon. Or if I have a set of cells selected, I can zoom to selection. I can also use the zoom tools down in the status bar. I can use the plus and minus to zoom up and down 5% or 10% at a time. Or I can use the slider to choose how much I want to zoom in or out. And of course, I can hold down control and use my mouse wheel to scroll in and out. If you want to view different sheets of the same workbook at the same time, you can open it again in a new window. And now you can see this file has a two appended to it. And if we go back to the view tab and arrange them so that they're split horizontally, you can see this is workbook one and this is workbook two. They're the same workbook. So any changes I make in this workbook, let's say I make this amount 800, you can see it changes at the same time in the other workbook. And if I arrange them so that they're tiled vertically and then click on this side by side view, I can choose the workbook I want to see side by side. So at the moment, this is workbook one and on the left, I have workbook two. So I'm going to compare it with workbook two and you can see it turns on this synchronous scrolling icon. And that means when I scroll, they scroll together. And if I choose a different worksheet, they both still scroll at the same time. To close the other version of the worksheet, just use the red X, just like you would close any other workbook. And then I can maximize it again. Now, if you have a lot of data, it's handy to keep the row and column labels frozen so that when you scroll, they're always visible on the screen. And we can quickly freeze panes using the freeze panes button. We can freeze the top row and you can see now there's a slightly darker gray line on the row one. And as I scroll, the headers stay in place or we can freeze the first column. And again, if I scroll to the right, the first column stays in place and we have the slight indicator in the gray line. I can turn off freeze panes by going back in and unfreeze panes. If I want to freeze more than just the first row or the first column, I can select the cell that's directly below the row I want frozen and to the right of the columns I want frozen and then go up freeze panes and freeze panes. Again, we have the indicator with the gray lines and if I scroll across and down, you can see my first two rows and first two columns are frozen in place. And of course I can turn that off with unfreeze panes. Similar to freeze panes are split panes. And I think a lot of people confuse these two tools. To split the panes, you need to select the cell that's below the row you want split and to the right of the column. And then up on the view tab, we go split. Notice we get these quite distinct gray borders to indicate where the split has been placed. And we have two scroll bars on the bottom and two on the right. The scroll bar down here on the left is quite small, so we'll adjust that in a moment. By the way, you can split just the rows or just the columns. In this case, I've split both just to demonstrate, but keep that in mind as an option. Split panes are designed for working in wide or long worksheets. I can scroll down and it works similar to freeze panes, but I can also scroll down 
in the top pane. Now to move where the split is, I can left click and drag. Now we have a slightly bigger scroll bar and if I scroll across, you can see it's working independently of this side. That allows you to choose which columns and rows you have visible on the worksheet at one time. The other thing to notice with split panes is when you've got a split in the column, you're going to have two horizontal scroll bars and now my worksheet tabs are hidden. I can still use my control page down and page up keys to navigate through the different worksheets or I can just remove the split. To do that, you can double click on the split or you can just click the split icon again. The next icon is hide and that will hide the current window and then to unhide it you need another window open so you can then click the unhide button which will become active when you've hidden a window. And lastly, if you're working with multiple Excel workbooks open, you can navigate between them using switch windows or you can use the keyboard shortcut control tab. Okay, that wraps up worksheet views. Take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the different options before moving on to the next lesson.